As we've seen in previous videos, I was able to use the SDK to access information from the current space. In my example here, I have a page location app which is grabbing the three blog posts from my blog post space. Let's take a look at what this looks like in the code just to get a reference. Here in the code, I'm accessing the page component which was created using the create contentful app. In the logic of the page component, I've created a React state called posts, and also a method to set those posts, which is part of the useState functionality. In the useEffect method, or rather, when the component renders, you can see I'm accessing props.sdk.space.getEntries. In version 4 of the SDK, getEntries is deprecated, and that's why there's a line through it. My editor shows this deprecation. However, the functionality still works. And as you can see lower, I've filtered by content type. I'm looking for the blog posts. And when that data comes through, I set those posts using my set posts method. Now let's talk about what the CMA plain client will do and why these deprecated methods can be replaced. If I scroll up to the interface of page props, we can see that there's a new prop type called CMA. The CMA uses the plain client, which means that it uses the flat structure of the CMA. I can easily access entries by accessing the CMA via props, which I'll do now. As you can see, I've rewritten my SDK logic to instead use the CMA. Here, I access the CMA on the entry methods, and I want to get many entries. I'm going to pass a query in, querying for the content type of blog post. And again, once my data shows up, I'll set that as the posts. Back in Contentful, we can see that nothing has changed but under the hood, I've changed some of the logic on how to grab entries. The main benefit of using the CMA adapter is that it is the same client that can be used on backend services such as Node.js. It's the same JavaScript client that will allow you to run the same scripts on both the front end and the back end if you've made proprietary scripts around these things. We also offer in-depth documentation on the CMA client. Here you can find how the different methods are used, what the different options are for these methods, and how they work in conjunction with each other.